Hey you guys, so in today's video we're going to be talking about compassion and comfort. We're going to be reading from page 24, 25, 26, and 27. And we're going to start with compassion. It says, when I am with those who are weak, I share their weakness. For I want to bring the weak to Christ. Yes, I try to find common ground with everyone, doing everything I can to save some. And that's 1 Corinthians 9.22. Psalms 51 verse 1 says, God have mercy on me according to your faithful love because your love is so tender and kind. Wipe out my lawless acts. Second Corinthians 1 verse 3 says, praise be to the God and father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the father of compassion and the God of all comfort. And the scriptures again, guys, for compassion were 1 Corinthians 9.22, Psalms 51 verse 1, and 2 Corinthians 1.3. Now we're about to get into the prayer. It says, Father of compassion, you are the source of all comfort. You are so kind and patient toward me. Even when I have what feels like nothing to offer, you so willingly draw near with your unfailing love. In my weakness, you don't turn away from me. In the same way, help me not to run away from weakness. I see in others. I want to be like you, lavishly loving those who have nothing to offer me. Thank you for loving better than anyone I've ever known or can imagine. In Jesus' name, amen. And the prompting question says, how can you be a more compassionate person? So now, guys, we're about to talk about comfort. It says, May our Lord Jesus Christ himself and God our Father, who loved us and by his grace gave us eternal comfort and a wonderful hope, comfort you and strengthen you. That's 2 Thessalonians 2, verse 16 through 17. Psalms 94, verses 17 through 19 says, Unless the Lord had helped me, I would soon have settled in the silence of the grave. I cried out, I am slipping, but your unfailing love, O Lord, supported me. When doubts filled my mind, your comfort gave me renewed hope and cheer. Amen. That is Psalms 94, 17 through 19. Isaiah 61 verse 3 says to all who mourn, he will give beauty for ashes, joy instead of mourning, praise instead of heaviness. For God has planted them like strong and graceful oaks for his own glory. And that is Isaiah 61 verse 3. Amen, you guys. So again, the scriptures for comfort. 2 Thessalonians 2, 16 through 17. Psalms 94, 17 through 19. And Isaiah 61, verse 3. And the prayer says, God, my God, I cannot face my sadness without you. I would be swept away without the light of your love beckoning me to shore. When I am in the throes of grief and sorrow, you are the only peace I know. Help. When I can only mutter that word, rush in with the comfort of your presence, covering me in your overwhelming love. Let the peace that passes understanding spread through me like the warmth of the sun. When I grieve, I know that you are with me, though it may be an end. It is not the end. Breathe hope into my life again when I need it the most. In Jesus name, amen to that prayer, you guys. And the question says, do you feel the comforting presence of God today? So you guys be blessed. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you guys back on tomorrow. God's will. All glory to God. Y'all have a great, beautiful day.